Hello children and welcome to another session of our computer class. Before starting, let us recap what we have learnt. So in the first session, we have discussed the fundamental things about computer. We have discussed about what is computer, features of computer, the application areas of computer, then functions of computer, different devices of computer even, what is data and information. Learning objectives for today's session. Today we are going to discuss about input devices and processing unit. So let us start. As I have already discussed in the first part, what do you mean by input devices? So the devices through which we can enter data are called input devices. The devices through which we enter data are called input devices. Some of the examples are given here like keyboard, mouse, scanner, microphone, joystick, light pen, web camera are some of the examples of input devices. So let us discuss in detail about these devices. Let us start with keyboard. So keyboard is an input device. It is used to enter data and instruction into the computer by typing. We can type letters, numbers and symbols by using a keyboard. There are different types of computer keyboards available in the market such as gaming keyboard that helps to play games easily, ergonomic keyboard, it makes typing easier and improve typing skills and speed, laser or infrared keyboard which can be projected on a flat surface like a tabletop and from there we can start typing then roll up keyboard which can be easily rolled up and can be easily carried mostly it is used by travelers there are number of keys on a keyboard that are used for different purpose you can see so many keys are here. A keyboard has letters, numbers, punctuation marks and some special keys. When we press these keys, we are instructing the computer what to write or what to do. Mainly, a keyboard consists of four different types of keys. Like this part these are typing keys where you will get the alphabet keys and number keys there are 26 alphabet keys and here you can see 0 to 9 10 number keys these are also known as alphanumeric keys this part then comes your function keys you can see the top row total 12 function keys are available starting from F1 to F12 and these keys are used for special purpose then navigation keys you can see here four arrow marks are there top button left and right and here you can see some of the keys like home key, end key, pays up, pays down. So these are the navigation keys. These keys help to move the cursor to different direction. Up or down or left or right. To the beginning of the sentence or to the end of the sentence, etc. Then comes your control keys. You can see some of the control keys marked here. These are some special keys used with other keys to perform special tasks. Control, Shift, Alt, Escape. These are some of the examples of control keys.
Next is mouse. Mouse is used to control the cursor. It helps us to draw, to point you can see I am pointing the mouse and select objects. So it helps us to draw, to point and select objects or text on the screen. There are two types of mouse. One is mechanical mouse and another one is optical mouse available. Next is scanner. So scanner is an input device that reads text or pictures printed or written on a paper and translate the information which a computer can understand. So it reads the text or picture may be printed or handwritten on a paper and it translates the information to means which the computer can understand and there are three types of scanners available flatbed scanner sheet fed scanner and handheld scanner next is microphone it helps to record voice it converts sound to audio signals which are then converted to digital audio data and sent to a computer then comes your joystick children are familiar with this input device so joystick is an input device used to play video games it has a stick can you see the stick it has a stick which can be moved in all the directions. Then light pen. It allows the user to point objects and draw on the screen. Just like a pen but you can point like mouse is a pointing device. You can use light pen to point the objects and even you can draw on the screen. Next is web camera. So it is used to capture still images and record videos. It is used to capture or take photographs and record videos. So these are some of the input devices we have discussed. Next is the processing unit. Children we know that as we have brain, computer also has a brain where all the means actual work is done that is CPU central processing unit it is also known as the brain of the computer CPU helps the computer to process the data in order to give meaningful result or output it is a chip located on the motherboard this is the motherboard inside the CPU box this is the motherboard in the computer that performs different tasks. The CPU not only does all the calculations but also controls the rest of the parts of the computer. CPU has three different parts ALU, CU and MU. ALU stands for arithmetic and logic unit. It helps to do all mathematical and logical calculations. For a CU, that is control unit, it controls all the parts and manages all the operations of the computer. Then MU, which is memory unit, it is used to store information either temporarily or permanently according to users need or requirement. So three parts of CPU are ALU arithmetic logic unit, CU control unit and MU memory unit. Assignment time. Go through the video and find out the full forms. Write the full forms of CPU, ALU, MU and CU. Children, I am going to give you one activity. 
which is collect pictures of minimum five input devices you can collect it from newspaper or magazine or from old books and write the uses of those devices children thank you for watching the video very soon i'll come with another part thank you